What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and this is a very special How To Tuesday. This marks the 800th episode of the Tom Rowland Podcast. I can't believe it, and I want to thank all of you who listen to this podcast because without you, we would not have gotten to eight episodes. We wouldn't have gotten to 80 episodes, and we certainly wouldn't have gotten to 800 episodes. I can't believe it. 800 episodes. We've been able to cover some incredible subjects on How To Tuesday. We've been able to cover some incredible subjects on Physical Friday, and we have had some of my absolute heroes, some people that I look up to, some people that I admire, and some people that I really wanted to learn from on the podcast as the full length. And it continues. It still continues. So How To Tuesday today is, I thought that we would do a special How To Tuesday, and that is how to get to 800 podcast episodes. Now, before you shut it off, many people don't want to get to 800 episodes. They don't have any desire to do a podcast. But when I was thinking about this this morning and I was thinking, how did I get this show to get to 800 episodes? And I started thinking about the different steps that I took to get to 800 episodes. And I started thinking, you know, those are exactly the same steps that you would use to do anything that you wanted to, whether you wanted to start a business, whether you wanted to become a fishing guide and become an established fishing guide in a place that you'd never even been before, whether you wanted to um, get a better job, whether you want to open a retail store, whether you want to start a, a Instagram account and, and get a million followers or a YouTube channel. It, it is basically all the same recipe, in my opinion. And what is that? What is that recipe? Well, that recipe is that you're going to need to build upon small successes, okay? And even before that, there's a step that, that comes in, and that is of committing to something and following through with it, okay? So in the case of the podcast, I decided that I was going to do 12 episodes, one a month for one year, and I was going to see what happened. And if I liked it and it was doing well, and I didn't put a label on exactly what doing well was, but showing, showing growth and, uh, and I liked it, I would continue to do it. And so along the way, there were plenty of times within those 12 months and those 12 episodes that not very many people were listening to it and not very many people were listening the following month. And there was very little growth. And I thought many times, you know what? I just don't think this is the right path. I don't, I, I don't know that this is what I should be doing. It seems like kind of a waste of time at, at, at times. But I said that I was going to stick to it. And I'm going to do the 12. And I'm going to stick this out for a full year. And sooner or later, I started to see small changes. And that's what I began to talk about first is building upon small successes. So maybe one week there's only 20 or 30 or 200 people that listen to the podcast. Well, next week, maybe it was 20% more or 40% more. And then it started to grow very, very small, very, very small growth, almost unnoticeable growth. And that's the same thing that is going to happen to you, whether you're trying to get into good shape uh, from, from wherever you're starting from, you're trying to get into better shape, or you're trying to... Um, run a marathon for the first time, or you're trying to open a business, or you're trying to become a fishing guide in a place that you don't know, you're going to make small incremental progress, almost imperceptible. And a lot of times it is important that you somehow try to measure that. So in the case of the podcast, we could measure that with how many people are listening to the podcast. 20 more people listen this month. 200 more people listen next, next month. 400 people listen the following month. And you would start to see this small incremental growth. It was almost unnoticeable. And if I was not measuring it, I would just look at it and say, you know what? I don't think this thing is ever going anywhere. But in reality, I, the numbers were doubling. That's huge. That's 100% growth. But when you only have 20 people listening to it and now 40 people listen to it, that 100% growth seems very, very small. And it's almost unnoticeable. But if you can measure it and pay attention to it, you can see that, oh, the things that you did to get twice as many people to listen 
if we double down on those things and do more of those things, then maybe the growth will continue happening on a much larger scale. And that's exactly what did happen. The same thing happens in your physical fitness or in anything else. You're, you're just go out running and you're like, I don't know, I felt maybe a little bit better today on my five mile run, but you didn't keep track of the time. You might have dropped a minute off of that five mile time, but you didn't notice it. And so you're kind of getting to the point of saying, you know what, I don't think all this running is really helping. I haven't lost that much weight. I'm not getting any faster and forget it. I'm just going to stop doing this. That's how people get off track, measuring things and building on these incremental little wins that you have is a, a way, not the way, a way to get to where you're trying to go. And that's what happened on the podcast is just these small incremental wins. One of the other things that was probably the most important thing that is probably the most applicable to anything that you want to to do and that is simply getting started i had an idea like today i'm sitting here thinking wow 800 episodes i'm really really proud of that that's that's something that i never thought i would get there and here we are it just seems to have magically happened it's been a lot of hard work there's been a lot of good people working on the podcast with me but we've made it here when I look back on it, I think, man, I could be at 1,200 or 1,500 episodes right now had I started when I really wanted to. But I started to procrastinate, and I started to to really, I wasn't doubting myself. Or I wasn't doubting um, the idea. I was procrastinating because I didn't know what kind of gear to buy, and I didn't know what the right way to do it was, and I was looking for perfection, and that uh, resulted in paralysis. Paralysis by analysis is what they call it, where I was analyzing, oh, should I get this microphone or that microphone? Should it be a headset with a microphone or should I have a separate microphone? Should I get this recorder or that recorder? And what about the different chords and what's going to be the best? You know what? None of that mattered. None of that mattered. And when I finally just said, you know what? I'm wasting so much time looking at all these microphones and everything like that. If I would just go ahead and get it, I would have 50 episodes done by now. And that's exactly right. So actually getting started, if it's a physical endeavor that you're looking for and you're looking to, to, to do something, sign up for the race. You don't even have to have a pair of running shoes. Sign up for the race now then go out and get the running shoes and then figure out how you're going to train for this marathon that you signed up for in, in 11 months. If it's starting a business, go, go, you know, figure out the name of the business, get started, write a business plan, talk to people, get started in this new business. If it's a YouTube channel, film it with your phone. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you're looking for perfection, you're going to end up with, with paralysis. That's what's going to happen. You're not ever going to get it perfect. And when you look at any of the great TV shows you see on TV or any of the great YouTube channels that you see, any of the podcasts you're listening to, if you go back to episode number one of those, those things, they do not look like they do today. They may, they, they may look a lot different. They might have been shot with one camera instead of three. They might have been shot with a, with a crappy camera instead of a really nice one. They might have had their, their brother-in-law shooting instead of a professional cameraman, whatever it is. The first episode does not look like the finished product that you're seeing today when there's 800 episodes or 10,000 episodes or whatever. What those people have done and what, what is holding true here is that they built on incremental progress and they got started. They got started and then they stayed with it. That's the same thing that's going to happen if you're, if you're, going to try to run a marathon or you're going to try to compete in your first CrossFit competition or you're going to try to lose 50 pounds or you're going to try to do anything. Getting started is the most important. Then figure out exactly how you're going to do it. Get started and commit. So that's what happened on this podcast. I think it all is very applicable um, to, to life. Another thing that you can do is surround yourself with great people. And on this podcast, I've been fortunate enough to have some really great people working on the podcast. Uh, Brock, and then Connor, and then Jake, William, and now we got this stellar team here. We've got Ben and Kyle. They're doing a great job on the podcast. Surrounding yourself with people that see what your vision is and can help you get there is very important. But you know what? You might not be in the position to surround yourself with anyone. You might be a lone wolf, and you might have to go at it alone for a little while before you can get there. 
build on, get started, build on these incremental little wins, and then, you know, see this thing evolve and materialize into something that, that it will ultimately be. That's, that's really the secret to, to anything. And, and it works very well with physical fitness and it's very applicable to that. If you're trying to lose weight or get stronger or get in better shape, that's it. But it doesn't stop there. It can be how to improve the relationship with your children. It can be how to improve the relationship with your wife. Commit to a certain time that you're going to do something. Do that for a certain period of time and then get better at it each time. Have this conversation. Have date night. Then next week, have date night. And the following week, have date night. And each of these date nights gets slightly better. And if there's a way that you can measure it, do that. Measure it and see if you got slightly better. Maybe it's just ask your wife, um, did you have a good time? Yes, that was great. What could we have done better? I don't know. Is there something you would have liked to have done other than that? Maybe we can add that to, to next week. And you can continue to get better over time to where the finished product a year from now will be something that will be beyond your imagination. All right. So that's How To Tuesday for this week. How to get to 800 episodes. It's all because of you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you can apply any of this to your life and make it better. All right. See you.